what's up? Marty Schwartz here with Guitar Jams again. Uh, anyway, I got this classic Pearl Jam song that I'm going to teach you right now. Uh, and I just want to let you know, you can sign up my friend list and you get a free ebook, um, which has chord diagrams and the basic pentatonic shape diagrams and the bar chord diagrams that you can have to supplement while you're learning these kinds of lessons. Let's get to the meat of this, all right? So the first chord that we need is called an E7. E7. But so the way they're playing it, or the main guitar, the, the recognizable part, is actually you're, you're going to bar it on the 7th fret right here. Mm -hmm. The root's on the A string, 7th fret, and then ring finger on the 9th fret of the D string, and pinky on the 9th fret of the B string, just like that. And you can even let the low E ring out so you can hear the... Like that. Sounds pretty cool. And so I was going like this, um, uh, I was going down, down, up, down, down, to the next chord, which is an A major bar chord, barred on the fifth fret, and then it looks like an E major shape. So ring finger on the seventh fret of the A, pinky on the seventh fret of the D, middle finger on the sixth fret of the G, and you bar it down, and that's the second chord, A major. Check it out. What you can do on the A major, there's another cool kind of A chord that you can substitute it with, and I saw them doing it on their, I think it was like uh, their unplugged performance of the song, which is really good. I recommend it. And what you can do is this. Um, from the E7 bar chord, all you do is you let the, you scoot your index finger over so the open A string will ring out, like that. Your ring finger is going to come over to the ninth fret of the G string. Then pinky is going to be on the 10th fret of the B string. And then you use your index finger to bar so we get the, the seventh fret of the high E in there. Check it out. And that's called an A suspended two. But you can play that anytime you want instead of an A chord. It, sometimes it'll sound cool, sometimes it won't. But you, um, he's just kind of mixing it up with that one sometimes instead of the A chord. So it'd be like this. And so in the intro there, and then also later on in the song, anytime it's about to go to the next section, it doesn't go to the A chord. It just holds on that E7 chord like this, you know. So the next part, we're just going to go to a straight up C major chord. That'd be two measures, or eight counts, or two counts of four, etc., to an E minor chord. So check it out. C, 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 to the E minor. Same amount of time, then again. go to a standard D chord, to a C chord, to the E minor, D,
different later on um, you know I know you'll have a beautiful life you know all that stuff and then you know um, all that stuff is the same chord changes but just um, uh, a little quicker like so it's you know D C Um, I'll show you that little I'll show you that real quick here it's not it's not very difficult but then also just all the little licks and little embellishing it's all on the E minor pentatonic scale um, which is in that e book that's totally free from me but you know some of the like you know So basically that last little lick there, we're going to go 7, 8, 10 on the high E. So 7, 8, 10, then back down to the 8, and then 7, 8, 7. And when you add that little half step right there, you know, it's still, uh, it's basically just called the E minor scale right there. And one thing that's unusual about this song is that, you know, the verse is in like an E7, but then when it goes to all the chorus kind of stuff, it's E minor. That doesn't happen as commonly in, in regular songs. But so basically that's, that's really, I think, enough to get someone going on the song. You could translate it to acoustic and play an open E chord to an open A chord with all those other changes I showed you. And that's really going to get you through it. Uh, so that's it. Hope you had fun. Hope I didn't waste your time. And I uh, love hearing from you guys. So if you saw my friend list over there, or over there, depending on your how big the screen is, uh, I would really appreciate it. And we'll, we'll talk to you real soon.